When Street Fighter II The World Warrior was released in 1991, it helped ignite a fighting game boom that has yet to lose momentum. It also introduced the first playable female fighting game character, Chun-Li. Although various versions of Street Fighter II would eventually expand the game's roster and add Kami, Chun-Li was holding it down for the ladies solo for a while, so it's no surprise fans of the series dubbed her the First Lady of Gaming. Chun-Li is a key player in the Street Fighter universe due to her history with M. Bison, leader of the Shadowloo crime syndicate also known as the Shadow Empire. Not only is Bison the primary antagonist for the game, he is also responsible for the death of Chun-Li's father. The Street Fighter Alpha series, which was released in the later half of the 90s after Street Fighter 2, was a prequel story, so it deals with Chun-Li's search for clues after her father's initial disappearance, only to have Bison admit to killing him before escaping at the end. That's basically the setup for the story in Street Fighter 2. This is also where we learn how Chun-Li began working with Interpol and see the beginning of her life as an Interpol agent, devoting her life to not just tracking down Bison and taking down the Shadowloo crime syndicate, but the most notorious criminals worldwide. Mostly Bison, though. Fun fact, uh, Chun-Li actually stands for Spring Beauty, and as dainty as that translation may be, her fighting style sure isn't. Chen Li utilizes the Tai Chi fighting style, which is a style of fighting that incorporates a lot of strong kick attacks. That pretty much explains why she is always portrayed as having incredibly muscular legs. Legs that seem to get more exaggerated in each addition to the Street Fighter series. I mean, come on, by the time Street Fighter 4 came around, one of her thighs was basically almost as big as her torso and her head combined. Outside of the Street Fighter games, she was depicted in the live-action Street Fighter film in 1994 by Ming-Na Wen. And what do you do when you have a campy action movie adaptation of a game with a well-known cast? You make a video game based on the movie. Of course! And let's not forget about that infamous scene in City Hunter where Jackie Chan cosplays as Chun-Li during a fight scene. That shit is priceless. There have also been numerous anime adaptations of Street Fighter, my personal favorite being Street Fighter 2 the animated movie, which released in 1994 around the same time as the live action film. In 2009, there was a standalone film made starring Christian Crook entitled Street Fighter The Legend of Chun Li. It didn't have a completely terrible cast and included Robin Cho, who portrayed Liu Kang in the Mortal Kombat adaptation in 1995. Oh, 2009. Just one more year where Hollywood seemed dead set on ruining our childhoods. Even though at the end of Third Strike, we see that Chun-Li has decided to adopt the child that was kidnapped during the main story and devote her life to mentoring children in martial arts in her home country, she's definitely going to be back on the streets in the next game. It's already been revealed that she will be in Street Fighter V when it launches in 2016. Chun-Li has been a major icon in fighting games since her debut in the early 90s, and I'm sure her legacy will only continue to grow along with the Street Fighter franchise. Check out GameRevolution.com for more video game news reviews and previews, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more original content. And stay tuned for more episodes of Bam Babes.